Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrillis here, and this looks like a pretty solid 6v6. I mean, there's a lot of rain dynamic on the opponent's team. There's an Audino that's probably, yeah, that's just going to be a mega Audino on the ally team, and I'm really excited to see what this can do. Like, a rain dynamic in singles. I talk about weather singles, and it looks like the opponent has a really solid one. Ludicolo, Swampert, and the Thunderous. That looks really solid, and then we also, I'm just holding out so much hope for the Audino. I think mega Audino is super underrated, because it can just do some work. So Politoed's going to lead with that Drizzle, starting off the team dynamic, and it's going to go for the Hypnosis. No way, man. 60% accuracy is too low, so Empoleon gets a free Stealth Rock set up, and I don't think it's like the worst thing that could happen, so Hypnosis finally lands. I think even having that as a lead is a pretty good idea, because, you know, the opponent's going to go for some kind of status, they're going to lead with their rocks or whatever, so even if you miss that first one, still have a good chance to follow up with the Hypnosis, and now we're going to see this team start to work out, so Thunderous comes in, and that's what I was thinking, just Thunder while the opponent's asleep, they're going to have to switch out into something, and or just eat up the hit, and that's kind of how this one's going to go out, so that's Thunder, perfect accuracy, not really much Empoleon can do about it, might be Sashed, because it's a lead, oh wow, yo, that tanky, I, ha, I, what? I don't even, I'm speechless on how that Empoleon survived. But it did, so, oh yeah, there's leftovers right there on the Empoleon, and there's a Thunder again, so Empoleon doesn't get to do much, and that's kind of just straight up how it goes. Maybe I uh, could have switched into the Excadrill, I think he had an Excadrill on his team. But anyway, now Slowking comes out. Slowking? Against the Thunder, really? Alright. Oh, gets the, there's the switch. So it goes for the double switch into Excadrill. I guess just accepting, you know, the fate of Empoleon, might as well not leave the sleepy Pokemon, not going to really do too much for you. So it baits out the Thunder, only a couple more Thunders left, that's going to be the switch force from the Excadrill, and are we going to get a decent prediction here? So Ferrothorn, it's going to not take any damage from the Stealth Rock, Earthquake not going to do too much to it either, yeah, about a third. Not too bad against the Ferrothorn, but then Leftovers, all that tankiness that Ferrothorn carries. And that's just going to be another Earthquake. Ferrothorn has a chance of setting up Leech Seed, which could make Excadrill's life really hard. Or it goes for the Stealth Rock. So it's going to sacrifice itself to get Stealth Rock going. But I mean, Excadrill could also um, Rapid Spin that away, which means set up, which... Uh, this could go... I would go for the Earthquake to secure that kill on Ferrothorn, and then you can Rapid Spin it. Or he's just going for the Withdraw into Thunderous. So... This is where the Rapid Spin could also work. Yeah, and there's the Earthquake, you know, because if you Rapid Spin, then that means Ferrothorn's just getting health back from the leftovers. So overall, you know, the power was in the opponent's hand on that one. And Slowking comes out. Are we going to get like that... What? Are we going to get like the double bait and switch again? Focus Blast. So Slowking's going to come up, just absorb the hit pretty well. Yeah, it doesn't take any damage. And I mean, are we going to see some crazy predictions? Went for the Withdrawal. Because, you know, this is just a mind game right now. Oh. Oh, really? I, the opponent's trying me on this one. The opponent is trying me. So, gets the Ice Beam in. Good prediction right there. And that's going to be a good amount of damage. And now, pretty much anything Slow King hits is going to take some damage right there. So, there's another Ice Beam. Um, Amoongus not really getting too much done. Because that was just a really good play. That... Anticipating, you know, double switch into the Excadrill. Amoongus was ready to handle the Excadrill. And just playing that risky game against that Thunder. But also, since the rain had stopped, it works out pretty well. Because the Thunder isn't going to be perfect accuracy. So you can turn it into something. And that's that's just wild right there. So Hypnosis going 2 for 3, which is about the odds. It's at 60%. So a little positive on the odds right there. Another Pokemon now down for the count. While being asleep. And it's going to be Slowking. What is Slowking going to do? It's Politoed switching out back into Thunder... Oh, Ludicolo. So now we're going to have Ludicolo using that Grass Advantage, using that uh, Rain Advantage, and Sl Slowking wakes up, though, gets that Psychic off, so it makes use of the Switch really well. Good amount of damage right there, and Giga Drain comes in. I'm like, I'm thinking Slowking might be taking enough to survive that one. So here's... Whoa! A lot of health going back on the Ludicolo, though. Life Orb, Ludicolo. And Psychic yet again. So trying to get a little bit of chip damage in. Not enough. But Giga Drain isn't going to heal as much back. So going to lose about a tenth of its health. Which is probably a little less than uh, it just healed back up. Because of Life Orb. So that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, Ludicolo's hanging in there. And 
There's the Excadrill. So Excadrill is going to look to make some plays. Uh, can Rapid Spin out just to be safe. Has a lot of options. Or just breaks the mold. That too. Ludicolo though, it's going to get that Swift Swim out speed and Hydro Pump. And good night, Excadrill. Okay, that didn't that didn't work out at all. So that's the that's the surprising factor about Ludicolo. It gets some it can do some work in that in that rain and also be pretty tanky. So now Latios comes in. Latios does resist uh, everything Ludicolo does pretty well, except for that Ice Beam. Never mind. So Latios does tank it up, being that special defensive tank, and that's going to be Ludicolo going down. So yeah, Ludicolo does provide some really good coverage with the Ice Beam. And there's... Oh yeah, now we got the Swampert. So that could be Mega Swampert under Rain with using that uh, Swift Swim. There's not too many turns of Rain left, so I don't think the Swampert's going to get too much from it. But it can just go and like, clean up this Latias really easily. Latias with that Draco Meteor though, because remember, it doesn't get that Swift Swim on the first turn. So now we're just going to see how much damage this Draco Meteor can really bring. A little over half, but that's not going to be good. Because now we're just going to have Swampert come in, and that's going to be an Ice Punch. And that's going to be, like, Ice Punch, that's overkill right there. But we're going to see where the rest of this game lies, because it's it's still fairly even. You know, a lot of low health opponents, and Talonflame comes in. Talonflame gets the cleanup. So it takes a ton of damage from those rocks, and there's the Brave Bird right there. So Brave Bird's going to come in, finish off that uh, Swampert, most likely. Let's see, there has to be enough damage there. And then it can t take off a Brave Bird on something else. And that's going to be pretty solid. So Politoed comes in. Ah, oh, Politoed, the only Pokemon that has like a good amount of health. So, going to take a little bit of damage from the rocks. Going to reset the rain. That's not. That's only going to really benefit the Thunderous. But Thunderous is starting to run low on Thunders. And Talonflame's just kind of going kind of kamikaze this one. Brave Bird, get as much damage down as possible while sacrificing itself. Almost gets the KO. Surprising amount of damage right there. And Politoed with the Scald. A little bit of damage to finish off uh, Talonflame. No reason to risk any anything else. So now there's the Audino. Alright. Is it Audino's time to shine? Is it going to be a tanky mofo? I'm, I'm excited to see what this thing can do. So there's the Mega Audino. Like, I like Mega Audino so much hit point and special bulk that it's, it's really nice. But is it enough in this situation? Like, the opponent has a lot of low hit points. Ooh, the Hypnosis, though, lands for a third time. The mods. And on Dino, just fast asleep. There's the withdrawal on the Politoed. And that's going to be Thunderous. So Thunderous, yeah, it's going to clean it up with that Thunder. Just come in, try to finish it off. Pointed Stones, though, those rocks have been getting a little bit of work this game. And... Audino does not get the wake up, but there's the thunder, and how much damage are we looking at this? Ooh, Audino wakes up, gets a draining kiss in there. So just go try to chip in a little bit of damage, try to heal up a bit. It can survive the next thunder for sure. Um, is it like wish, protect, calm mind, draining kiss, maybe? Didn't get a lot of time to set up because it was asleep, so that's gonna be thunder. That's gonna be a paralysis as well. And that's gonna be draining kiss, finishing off thunders though. Not seeing too much work coming in for this Audino, and it's upsetting me. So there's the Politoed. Politoed's just gonna clean this one up, I believe. Oh, wait, stones! Okay, never mind, Stealth Rocks finishes it up. There's the Ferrothorn. Hold up! Hold up, if Audino has Flamethrower! That changes everything! Oh no, that's Gyro Ball GG. What? Wait! Wait, it survived? I wasn't expecting it to survive! And there's the flamethrower! What just happened? Is Aladino that slow that the Gyro Ball did nothing? Huh. What do you know? That... that ended up happening. Wow, down to the wire? That's... I wasn't expecting that. I honestly ended the recording, so then it did like three damage! Jeez. Alright.